Greetings my lovelies and thank you for stopping by my channel today where we are weaving worlds out of words. As promised today I'm going into our third segment for world building religion. Dun dun dun. <laughs> now I know religion can be a touchy subject for some people. That's not what I'm trying to get into. This is primarily focusing on creating new religions or adapting current religions to your writing. That's it. I have no personal opinion on anybody else's religion. What you choose to or not to believe is up to you. I could give a flying F. All right, I don't care. So with that being said, let's get started. Religion is sometimes a thing that can either make or break your people. They could be suffering under it, it could be their liberator, it's something that people cling to for hope, and that's also sort of serves as their moral compass. So it's a kind of a big thing, so you should at least give it a passing thought. Which brings us to point number one. Number one, do you even need to have it? Are you going to create a new religion or not? If your people value science and logic over everything, you don't necessarily need a religion. Now how they treat science may kind of border on religious experiences, but it's not a religion. So if that's what you're writing, thank you for clicking this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I post videos every Sunday and I will see you next time. Thing number two. How does your culture and your land affect your religion? Now, many, many years ago, I took a religion class as part of a curriculum, extracurricular thing for college. And there's one question that sort of always stuck with me. Does a religion affect the culture or does the culture affect the religion? And I kind of think it's a little bit of both. So here's the point I'm getting at. Religion tends to be an organic thing. Um, it changes and evolves as people understanding go, grows and cultures. When they transfer it to a different language, you know, some things are lost in translation. So over time, all religions kind of change. If they don't change, then they run into the risk of becoming stagnant and losing followers. So when it comes to the world that you've created, You'd sort of kind of have to, again, use logic when choosing your gods and goddesses or god, whatever you want to do. Um, a desert people are not going to worship a jungle goddess. And I can hear some people now, well, no shit, Kristen. Obviously, I there's always that one that just does not think about it and is like, well, this is a cool badass goddess concept. I'm going to do this. So I, it has to be said because there's always one. So when you look at the land that your people live in, most primal gods and religions are a reflective of the nature world around them, or the natural world around them. And even in maybe some of the larger, like the big three types of religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, even some of their cultural things and lands bleed into at least the stories that are in it. So the land that you're in, you're gonna have to make sure that you keep that in your brain housing group and apply it to whatever deity that you're gonna be using. And on a similar note, who is in charge is also going to reflect who, what type of god or goddess is in charge. If it's a matriarchal society being ruled and led by women who have the most power, they're not gonna have a male deity in the highest seat of power. It's gonna be a female. Number three, the deities themselves. Here's where you get to have some fucking fun, finally. This is where you just let your creative juices flow. You create whatever you want. You give them their personalities. Have fun. Are you doing one god? Are you doing multiple gods? Because multiple gods can cause a lot of chaos because they never really agree with each other. 
Are your gods split up into strictly good and evil? Or are they gray? Meaning, they can be nice, but they can also slaughter your whole friends and family on just on a whim. So when it comes to naming your gods, you, there are tons of sites that you can use. My personal favorite is this fantasy name generator. I'll provide the link for that below. I use it kind of as a reference to get an idea going and it uses everything from gods to peoples, religious texts, country names, you name it, it'll do it. It'll even create sigils for you. I mean, it's just, you know, like house symbols. It's just amazing. I thoroughly like it. It's a great tool to at least bounce off from. So go check them out. Number four, do your people worship something other than the gods? Not every culture has deities, human type deities or anything of that nature. Some religions and cultures tend to worship nature, nature spirits, and then some cultures worship their ancestors. And so they'll beseech their ancestors on their behalf to sort of go to bat for them in the universe and be like, please take care of my family. Look at the offerings they give me. Clearly they're good people. Now you can always mix gods and the other types of deities, elementals, divine entities, ancestors together. Um, it just makes for a little bit more fun and complex. Just another way to add some layers to your world. And number five, how do your people get access to the gods, the vine, and what have you? Are there sacred texts that only a few people know how to read because they spend their entire lives learning how to read it? Are there holy sites that people can pilgrimage to to be in the presence of their gods? Are there any holy days? Basically, how do your masses get access to the divine to convey their wishes and prayers and then how do they get the answers back? That's what I'm talking about here. And the last thing to think about is if there's anything at home that the people can do to access their gods, you know, sort of like home shrines. I mean, do they always have to go to the temples or can they do something at home? Well, that is all that I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions about religion or if you want to just get into a discussion about your best practices for creating new religions, please comment below. Next week, I will be going into magic. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe and click the little bell for the notification so that you can know all about it. You can follow me on my various social media platforms. Please do. I love engaging with people. I love talking to people and making friends. I know it's kind of weird because I'm an introvert, but I like making, you know, internet friends. So I hope you are enjoying the warmer weather as we creep closer to summer or if you're in the south, have survived the Polangedon as we jump straight from that to summer. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.